All right, shower is completed. That's not okay. Oh, I just saw the net again. That's not okay, in my opinion. Oh! <laughs> I have order takeout, because I have. I'm using a little butternut right now. <sighs> Trying my first bite of food. It dribbled on me a little bit. One day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy. This video is so raw, you guys. Fuck. Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Hens, and I'm here with Amber Lynn. Uh, she's celebrating Pride, like most gay people and allies and just everybody else who enjoys a little gayness. Um, but uh, the title of this video is Come to Pride in OKC with us, Oklahoma City, uh, and Coming Out Story with my mom. So or with mom. So in other words, she's going to repeat her stolen story from Casey like or she's going to change it again like she always does to avoid accountability. And then we'll be like, well, what about this when you stole his story? And she'll be like, oh, uh, you have the details wrong. That's your misunderstanding, not mine. Hmm. Hey Amber. Hey guys, welcome to a hey guys, welcome hey guys, hey guys, <laughs> your girl a new vlog ride right now. So hey guys, welcome your girl is a new vlog. <laughs> so I'm it is just in the hey guys, welcome to a new to pride vlog. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, your girl is going <laughs> to vlog. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I am currently just in the middle of hey getting Amber. ready right now. I'm not done yet. Your girl is going to pride. Right now it is stormy. Your your girl is going to pride. For the first time ever at 33 it's supposed to pass so let's keep our fingers crossed that pride is still gonna happen today i'm trying to decide which purse to carry you know what comes after rain amber a rainbow so let's do it together should i wear my typical purse which wow she's a whole rainbow that whole long ass rainbow is right there is Super cute, everyone loves it, including myself. Or should I switch it up? You know what Amber uses instead of measuring tape for her clothes? A rainbow. And wear this guest purse, which is red, and it absolutely matches. But is it too matchy matchy? I don't know, what do you guys think? I ask you It's not really matchy matchy. It actually goes with the outfit and I think she knows that. I think somebody already told her to wear that, like her mom, but um, she's just fishing for compliments at this point. For your advice, but by the time you see this, I already have decided and went to Pride and had the time of my life. I don't know, I'm leaning towards the red. How do you know you're gonna have the time of your life? You can barely walk. Locked. You know it, not gonna lie. And I've never used this purse. I've had it for years. So I'm glad that I still have it. And of course, I'm wearing my gay earrings. Because <laughs> your girl's gay. <laughs> You're barely gay. Y'all, I'm about to put my mom's hair up in a ponytail. I don't know how. I've never done it before. <laughs> According to when you reached out to Casey for help with sex with Destiny, you said you had only had sex with Casey. You had never had sex with Crystal. And then you had sex with Destiny, and then you never had sex with Beck, and then wifey, who knows? She probably just bathed you and you thought that was sex. And then now you're alone. So your hand is your best friend. Please, I have to see her. <sighs> oh, you brought me a rosy! I'm nervous. So we're going to Pride. Do you see how she's pulling that hair at the beginning of brushing? Gay earrings. <laughs> Because <laughs> your girl's gay. Y'all, I'm about to put my mom's hair up in a ponytail. I don't know how. I've never done it before. <laughs> I'm nervous. So we're going to Pride. Yay. You excited? Yeah, I'm not the only gay person in this room right now. Amber. <laughs> Her mom must be in the room. <gasps> Amber. <laughs> oh, God. She's talking about us. No, mind. <laughs> what? I'm real I mean... I mean Clearly, you didn't edit it out, but I mean, okay. Just like always, she's like, I'll edit it. Never does. She leaves it in on purpose because that's the only content she can get. 
especially like back when she was with Crystal uh, and she used to film her and tell her, oh, no, of course I'm not filming you while filming her actively. Like, like you're such an asshole. I'm going to leave the room. I was with the woman for five years. Yes. She oh, was. OK, Mama Lynn. That's just bisexual. And that's like not even like for real. Like. You can be in one time relationship and it's not like definitive. You just are finding out if that's what you want to do and you don't have to ever do it again. I mean, mom, you're no, in a relationship not really. Five years. So yeah, I think you're a little gay. <laughs> you're a little gay. I fall for the person, not the gender. Oh, my mom found out. I believe that more from her mom than I do from Amber because of how she misgenders uh, Casey, even to this day. Uh, I was gay even before I wanted her to know. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is so long ago. Yeah. I remember that. I was uh, in her room and I was going through her stuff. Hmm. How convenient. And I found a note in her pants. <laughs> and I read it. And I hmm. My mom found porn on the computer. <laughs> I didn't find out until months later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were arguing. And, I, I and you're like, at, you don't know me. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah, I looked at her and I was like, you don't know me. And I was like, I know you more than you think. <laughs> yep. And then I brought it up. I, I found the letter in your pants. You should have seen the look on her face. Oh my God. <laughs> and then she tried to make me feel better. Yeah, no shit. It's like one of the worst moments in people's lives. Because at the time, she'd never been with a woman. So she was like, oh, don't worry about it. I think women are hot. And I was like, oh my God. Wow, that's awkward. That's like also awkward. Mom. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I was just like, just be true to yourself. You're fine. And then I told her not to tell my dad. And then she said, Mom, I'm also a food addict. And she said, Honey, we will never talk about this again. Go to your room. I'm never talking about this with you again. My dad. You're not a food addict. I was. He used to be homophobic. He's no longer. Yeah, his mom. How do you know? You said you don't have any relationship with him. You said he is in an active addiction and I don't want any relationship with him because I'm better than that. Except you're literally in multiple addictions and right now your addiction is even beating Ozempic. Mom was gay and he used to say a lot of uncalled for things so I could see how Amber he probably had a lot of displaced anger against his mom, but it was like not really against gay people. Although, like, depending on where he's from, it might just because I think both of her parents are from Oklahoma. Originally, they give Oki vibes. I was scared. No offense. For her dad to know. So I never said anything. Yeah. And then when he did find out, he was so accepting. So, yeah. yeah. So it worked out. <laughs> yeah. It always seems to go that way, huh? So why I asked Amber to do this, because every time she sees my hair, she's like, Mom, you need to do a high ponytail. Let me do it. And now that I asked her to do it, she's like, I don't think I can. Look at them arms. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at them arms. Hams. They're even hams. They're bigger. Her arm is the size of my leg, of my thigh. Holy cow. And oh my gosh, I really think that her arm is the size of my thigh. <laughs> oh my god. Because her forearm is about the size of my calf. Oh my god, it's right. Oh, is that what you're it? talking about? Oh. Yeah. Okay, we'll do another color. Hand me them in the order you want. Well, what color did you do first? It looks pink. Pink? So probably like green. <laughs> Her mom, I can see, like, it's almost as if personality is genetic. Part of it is actually genuine. That, like, she's just very, very similar to her mom. Because uh, it's, like, the little things that she does, uh, that her mom does, that are, like, so Amber Lynn coded, if we're going to use that language. But then um, a lot of it is affectation by Amber to... Im like impersonate her mom but like this whole like how she selects the colors and like her enthusiasm over such like trivial items and details 
it's really similar. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> so my eyes watery, I got my eyelashes done, and I think there's glue under my eyelid. Amber, I don't see how you could film. <laughs> You're doing great. Does it feel like it's in the middle of your head? Like, is it in a comfy spot? Yeah. Okay. Now you shouldn't keep pull it, pulling it tight like that. That's gonna hurt your scalp and give you a headache, I believe. Blue? No, probably orange. Did you actually do it, Amber? I guess. Should I be a cosmetologist? Because no. you did my hair in a high ponytail. <laughs> oh my god, I've heard it all. <laughs> Her mom is like the queen of ripping into Amber. I can see why Amber is so insecure as a person because gr I grew up with a mother who was very much like that. She was not a meth head at all and nothing like that, but like very critical in that kind of a way. And so I can see how that would like make Amber very insecure. <laughs> Where do you have the I Dream of Jeannie look here? Oh my God. I don't know. Whoops. I Dream of Jeannie is uh, iconic. Redo. No one's Does this look dumb? Does this look dumb? No. One last one. See my earrings? <laughs> <laughs> do you like that? See? That's something that young Amber Lynn would do. Like when she was with uh, Crystal in her little uh, side vlogging when she was alone in the room. That's exactly the type of shit she would do. Yeah, that works. That looks so cute. You like it? Yeah. My outfit? Look. Does it? It looks adorbs. Hi, yeah. Twinkie. Oh, Twinkie looked fucking scared as shit. <laughs> or just like very nervous. I don't know. Like, she always seems so nervous around people. I just think she doesn't like how many people Amber brings in and out of her life. <laughs> oh my god. Amber Lynn. Why are you filming and waving at furries? God damn it. So that's the thing too, is Amber Lynn really is not like in the gay community. Like she does not know things about like gay culture and like <laughs> different aspects of like, not just, oh, screaming that you're a lesbian and like, Oh, I like girls. I don't like penis. Like, there's more to being a lesbian than that. And there's, like, a long history of lesbian culture. And then, same for gay culture. Like, there's so many facets that people don't talk about in, like, mixed company with straight people. It's so funny. I mean, we could do that, too. Oh, that's nice. But also, like, uh, Pride is literally for families and for everybody. Like, m most gay Pride is not, like, fulsome, <laughs> really hardcore, half-naked, fully-naked people. Like, that's mostly L.A., San Francisco, and New York. Outside of that, and then maybe, like, in Europe in some places. But, like, otherwise, it's just about celebration and most people are just there in like regular clothing and with their animals like this um because it's a really chill time most of the time and growing up in san francisco bay like it was very big deal all the time pussy power <laughs> oh my god I'm obsessed. Of course you are. Because you just have to prove to us that you're so interested in the lesbian vagina pussy whatever. <laughs> oh damn it. Amber is so annoying like that. Like, she is gay in the most lazy way. She doesn't even go out, so she's just not a part of any community. She doesn't partake in like lesbian bar bingo or <laughs> they have like uh lesbian burlesque is a really big thing um or any kind of like gay sp not like sports because she obviously can't play sports but like 
uh, she could do gay comedy. People would find her funny, I'm sure. <laughs> In an ironic way, she would be quite the hit. She has options. And, like, it doesn't even have to mean, like, she's walking around a whole bunch. But she doesn't want to. Because that's Amber. She'd rather go play bingo with her mom. <laughs> hey, Mama Lynn. Ooh, drag queen. <laughs> Lol. It's a very Midwestern feeling pride. Um, but Midwestern drag queens are quite wild. A lot of them are like burly and like mask men, <laughs> but then they'll like totally be uh, done up all the way. As loud as you can. My half. Ready. One, two, three. <laughs> so we're at a sunflower. I got some fruit, mashed potatoes, and salmon. My friend got of some course vegan. It. What? Wait. I, what is your friend? Who's your fucking friend? Uh uh. We're going back. So we're at a sunflower. I got some. I've got some frit, some mashed potatoes, and some salmon. Potatoes and salmon. My friend got some vegan. What? Wait. What, I, what is it's this? Like a vegan tofu rice bowl. I can't remember. Who the fuck is this? It's a guy, I think. But like, who the fuck is this? It looks gross, kind of. It looks like. It I don't know. Like maybe pork. I don't eat pork. Um and then I would eat the vegetable mix and with the grains. It looks okay. But and then I like broccoli, but no, I can't eat pork. Be or I don't eat pork. It's gross. It's tasting to me. I don't know what the name of it is though, but it looks really good. It has chili sauce in it or something. And then my mom got risotto, shrimp, and what is that? Asparagus salad. Asparagus salad. Girl, you already fucking knew that. That proves she does not pay attention when her mom is speaking. Because her mom has gotten this before. So you really don't remember? Or you're saying it because you just want her to say it for the camera. Is that it? That sounds more like what you're trying to do. So yeah, this place is a vibe. Like, look how cute it is. Why are you filming other people, Amber? Why are you intentionally filming other people? You are so annoying. You've been here before and you've filmed what it looked like when it was emptier. Why would you show us with people? Since you hate being filmed in public without your permission. What is your issue? What is your damage? Did your mom drop you on your head too many times? <laughs> so my friend's mom made this bag by herself and it's literally the cutest thing ever yes amber it is not difficult to make a bag out of material if you have the right fabric and you have the right sewing materials and you have the skill oh look specially handmade by robin if we ever track down robin we can totally find out if amber's friend is her date or, wait, that would be so middle schooler of her. Oh my god, I bet this is Valentine. Because then it would be like, she'd be on a date with her mom as a freaking uh, chaperone. Especially handmade by Robin. Especially since her mom wasn't there when she went through puberty to uh, chaperone. Oh, adorable! Oh, so I love it. I love it too. Uh, Literally days like today. It sounds like a guy though. Is where I'm like, yep, life is beautiful. There were so many things I could have vlogged. And Amber Lynn doesn't like men. Vlogs, but those very things are just things that I experienced without even taking out my camera. I'm sorry. I just had so much fun. I got this fan and I've never been good at opening these, like at all. Girl, we could see you when you were leaning on the gate, whatever uh, barrier they had set up for the Pride Parade. You were literally leaning on it all the way, putting all of your weight off of your legs because you couldn't stand. It was embarrassing. And then you were right in the middle of a whole group of people instead of off to the side where you could get up easily and sit down if you needed to. But you're not into doing it like that. 
where it's convenient for you. You want to be performative about everything you do, including this little fucking fan that you have here that I wish I could just light on fire right now. But so cute. I'm obsessed. I met literally so many subscribers. Don't worry. It's not a hate crime. I'm gay too. <laughs> today, so if you saw me today and we took a photo, send it to me. You guys were so freaking sweet. I can't. All right, you guys, it's getting late. I have to get ready for bed. I do want to end this vlog, but of course we're going to do questions of the day. How did you manage to round up three of your animals for the fire alarm? It's actually really easy. Twinkie listens to me. Both of my cats are pretty chill. They Twinkie, get over here or I'm going to kick you. Okay. And then cats. Food. Guys, it's time to eat some treats. I'm going to get you even fatter so you can't run away from me. Come here, guys. They trust me. And I have these two, which I got from Amazon. They're like these two like backpack cat carrier things for moments like what? that where you have to evacuate your apartment. I got very lucky. I have some very... Backpack cat carrier. I'll have to look that up. My cat might like that. She's little... But she would like going outside, I think, if it was in a safe backpack. Wonderful pets, so they, they listen to me. And they're not, like, skittish and, like, no. I mean, definitely not around me. Girl, you have said each of your pets is very skittish. And we can see them when they're on camera around people. They are not comfortable. They don't like being around a bunch of people. And they don't like you when you're moving around a whole bunch. They usually stay back away from you and watch. Like, I'm sure that there have been a couple of close calls where you've almost stepped on them or you've, like, accidentally kicked them because you didn't see them because you can't see down below your stomach. You have issues with your own mobility, and that means that it impacts other people and things around you. Amber, are you aware that most people wake up at 5 a.m. or earlier every single day? Yeah. No, that's not true. 5 a.m.? Maybe if you have kids. But, like, I wake up usually... Actually, it's a bad thing with my sleep. I usually wake up around, like, 6.30, and then I have to go back to sleep and get up at, like, uh, 8. <clears throat> Just so I have time to get ready in the morning. Oh, I suffer with massive insomnia, so the fact that in, like, the last few months, I've definitely been able to get my sleeping schedule on a better path that's actually a really good thing for me uh not everyone can go to sleep at a normal time and wake up at 5 a.m for some people it is really hard anytime i ever share anything that i'm going through it doesn't mean that i'm dismissed amber lynn you don't do anything all day your only concern is losing weight and getting the right amount of sleep you have so many issues doing those two basic things and it's all because you have no willpower your mom has more willpower in her ability to stop eating sweets and lose weight than you have had the whole 10 years that you've been on YouTube. That is an embarrassment and you should be utterly shocked off of the platform. It should be so unbearable to you that you just utterly quit because at this point you're dragging yourself through the mud just not even for money because nobody is watching your videos. Missing anyone else's story or struggles or what they're going through. Are these vlogs a month late? I cannot believe it. No, today is June 2nd, if you're curious. Anyways, I'm going to stay in my little positive bubble for tonight and I'm not going to let anyone ruin that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah, you stay in your little positive bubble. It's not gay. It's not at all. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Amber Lynn was really boring, not very gay, and honestly, <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing. It's like she has to have a chaperone all the time, and the chaperone is her mom. And it's unreal to me being 33 and having your mom be over your shoulder at every turn. Like, I could not imagine living life like that. It's weird. And... I I almost feel sorry for her and for her mom that that's the case. But at the same time, I think they deserve each other a little. So I'm kind of enjoying the mutual destruction. I said it before. Amber is a collapsing star. And she's bringing everything in with her as she 
goes into that black hole state. Really cool to watch and really horrible. Bye.